All right, so we gotta talk about the number one movie trend of 2013 more than anything else that's going on in cinema. Not superhero movies. Nope. Not fucking sci-fi bullshit movies. Nope. Not fucking comedies with fucking Adam Sandler. Nope. What are we talking about? We're talking about every movie you're gonna to pay to see in the theater this year is gonna have some appearance some way it's going to be influenced by Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Holy shit. Holy shit. Yeah. Dwayne The no, Rock Johnson. No, no, wait, no. Are we just speculating? No, because it's already fucking uh, quarter, first quarter of the year and he's already yeah. been in four movies. Yeah, so. yeah, exactly. And he's got more coming. More, there, more's on the way. <laughs> more's coming, on coming. the way. You better like the fucking Rock if you're a cinephile because he's starring in everything under the you, fucking sun. You ain't seen anything that doesn't have a rock. So if you're going to the movies, I hope you enjoy some smell la 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 the Rock is cooking. Because I'll tell you what, this motherfucker talking about disappearing into the role being a character actor he don't fuck with none of that he shows up every movie he wears a tank top he shows off all the same tattoos he got the same shaved head hairstyle he talks in the same voice yeah, yeah. nothing's changed so far this year the rock started out strong with fucking snitch fucking in and out of theaters <laughs> fucking the long delayed gi joe 2 Three weeks later, yeah. Michael Bay's Pain and Gain. Pain and Gain. Oh, and, uh, what else was it? Something else. Fast and the Furious. Fast and the Furious. Yeah, this car is fucking right. yeah. Why do you need a wrestler in a fucking car movie? I don't know. No, I know. And, and the thing is, like, like, we're not hating on The Rock. We're kind of hating on the people that put him in these movies and, and, and do the disservice of not putting him in acting classes because it's the same fucking guy in every single movie. Exactly, movie. man. Like, like I, mean, I saw his first couple movies, Snitch G.I. Joe, and I fucking, like, a wrestler myself. I tapped the fuck out. I can't take any more of this motherfucker. <laughs> The whole movie snitch, he's running around. I just need an introduction into this world to save my son Jason, who's in prison right now. <laughs> Can you so smell it? So fucking melodramatic. Same man. shit. So melodramatic. Fucking same corny ass, like, tone of voice, yeah, everything. I mean, the motherfucker's not versatile enough to be in four movies in four months, you know? I, I'm sorry. I mean, remember when he used to fucking be on the backstage of WWE and he'd come in and he'd call out Mick Foley or some motherfucker? Yeah. He does the same shit. G.I. Joe was the worst. He just kept, like, turning and looking into the camera, delivering his lines that way. <laughs> I hate Cobra. I'm gonna kill Cobra. I don't know. I never saw a fucking. Movie I before. saw it, man, and all he fucking was talking about is fucking. He wanted to kill Cobra Man. He wanted to kill Thank Cobra Man. And guess what didn't happen in this movie? He didn't kill Cobra. Why? Why would he? <laughs> he fucking killed Firefly, but he gives a shit about Firefly. Nobody does, man. Now he's got a TV show coming on, The oh. Hero, where he's just gonna sit around. This motherfucker. He's got so much shit going on, he can't even host a reality show. He's just there on a walkie-talkie telling motherfuckers, jump off the bridge, jump off the bridge. You jabroni, I would jump off the and bridge. I, and then on top of it, he goes back to wrestling about every year and a half to, like, headline. A day. Come on, man, it's know. too much. Give, give it up, give it up. I ain't hating. He can have a career and all that shit, but I, he doesn't need to be the fucking guiding influence of cinema now. <laughs> he, don't, he don't need to be in every single movie every Fuck single no, leave the fucking... I'm sorry, so, so. So let's cross our fingers and hope 2014 will not fucking be the year of the rock again all over. Because exactly. I mean, somebody needs to tell this motherfucker that it ain't 1913. He ain't Charlie Chaplin. We don't make six pictures a week at the movies. Yeah, anymore. yeah. And, and how famous and rich do you need to be, motherfucker? Can you can, can you say no to a script? Come on, just say no. I dare you. I dare you. You have a gambling problem. You need to cash What's up your paycheck on? for every. I dare commercial? you, Rock. Say no to just one script. No. Just one script. Prove us just wrong. Prove us wrong. All right. Can't stop the rock.